Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Mad Lab Ranger Liquorice Record Episode Seven. Yay! Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, we are now at the second half of the season, and I'm hoping that this second half of the season, we finally get to see some dark themes happening for the series, man. Because last episode really kicked off with some interesting fight with Majima. Yes, guys, the new antagonist for the series really go head to head with the Liquorice right now, and he is actually quite smart too. And apparently, he is the male version of the Liquorice. So, yeah, basically, he can go toe to toe with well, guess who? Chisato, because he nearly defeated her until the gang saved her of course so yeah Majima is a big threat and let's just see what's his next plan to deal with his biggest opponent right now Chisato so with that said let's check out today's episode shall we and let's get started shall we so let's just see how the second half of the season kickstart with about some fan service episode or maybe we get to see another wholesome episode when I say fan service Yuri stuff of course so here we play or you can see another thread made by Majima, but so far, well, you can see those two are, well, drawing. Drawing out Majima, I presume. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, she said those art looks better, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're nowhere close, man. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Dude, what happened to the green hair? Oh my god, dude, don't you guys have like CCTV footage or something of Majima? Or was he all destroy all the footages? But still, that was a really fun drawing scene right there to kickstart the episode. Mm -hmm, I know, right? Drawing should be a essential skill. And there he is, Majima. I mean, I would love to see Masuka went full like Betu Giz mode for Majima, man. I would love to see that. Because he has some potential moments again that could happen to him. Mm hmm. Kimi, oh, yo, love that. What the hell are you? Well, we are skill shooters. That's what we are. Okay, so time will tell. What an interesting title. Oh, best son. Okay. I have a feeling that this episode today will involve quite a few wholesome moments. And she had to do her homework. Wow, such a... I remember this guy. She's still a student. Hmm. Uh. Mm hmm. Is she like... Oh, she saw it. VR Forbidden. Hmm, is she gonna like gonna like stalk on his you know background or something because of that one message? I feel like she's gonna interrogate him. Oh wow, wow 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 wow! Wait, what the fuck? She's naked. <laughs> what that? We got what, like back to back fan service moment. But did she like put pull down underwear? But I don't think so. Anyways, but yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty sure she said those start stalking like our nigga. Is she still thinking for me? Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, she's gonna she gonna start stalking our lovely uh, Mika or our nigga. By the way, he came second in anime trending, which is congratulations, of course. Uh, even though I feel like Kakiru deserves second. Wait, what? Closure crisis? Like, what's going on? I also like the fact how they hang up their terrible art. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're misreading the situation, Chisato. Why would he close it down? He set this up specifically for like some, you know, vigilante, like Likris missions. Dude, you're overreading the situation, man. Why would he sell you back to DA, man? Hey, there we go. Some Yuri moment right there, everyone. I'm pretty sure a lot of fan art will start drawing, you know, these two right now. <laughs> Wait, more Yuri. Man, Chisato, man. I, I, she's having too much fun right now. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's still single? How sad, busty lady. I mean, of course, they need to maintain this cafe, okay? For their own, well, selfish purposes, especially the busty lady. Member owned bar. So, yeah, I guess they're stalking him to a bar now to tell him to not close it down, which I'm pretty sure he did not, but they're just misreading the situation, anyways. A date? Tencho is going on a date? Okay. Wow, that is interesting development. <laughs> I love the sink. Nine 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 nine. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, what is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, the radio tower incident. We still need to find out more about the radio tower incident. Like, what the hell is that about? Like, does that play a big part in Chisato's backstory or something? Like, how she became so softy? Mm hmm. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, whoa! Oh, whoa, what was that? So, does she, so he does know her or something, right? Yo, so those two met before? Holy shit, no way. So those two met in the past? Oh my god, Lolly Chisato. Yo. So damn. So she's like Lolly Chisato has a bit of history with him. And she's like he's back hunting her now. Man, seriously, when are we gonna dive into Chisato backstory, man? It's about time we learn more about her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Seriously, this guy has some ego purposes for his own hacking, like, you know, status. Well, yeah, I guess that's how it works to, like, track down the information. So it seems like he'll be heading to the the main well DA facility to get some grab some information. Like how many men does he have by the way? I mean I know they didn't die last episode, but still though. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, of course that's he's doing, like trying to gather the licorices so they they so they don't get close to them. Mm hmm Yep, yep, the CCTV ca the CCTV ca uh, footage has been like delayed. Mm hmm So yeah, distraction. Well nice one, robot boy. Mm hmm So they're heading to the... Wow, okay. So it seems like they're infiltrating the DA facility. Like, what the fuck, man? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. There we go. Boom! Well, that happened. <laughs> Okay, seems like they they infiltrated the uh, DA police station or something to get some information on the liquors, I presume, or cases from the past. Oh my god, they framed the Yakuza group for what they're doing. Oh, what's she doing here? You see, he, are they coming here for some tag team or something or some like backup? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, she is a hacker. Low. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Low, what the hell? The blush, man. Is she in. Is she in love with him or something? Oh, there he is. Hey, he got careless there. He got careless there. And now they got a proper image of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, now they got proper footage. Hmm. Well, seems like now they have a pic the picture they needed. Hmm. I challenge you, Licorice. Oof. Uh, challenge accepted, everyone. Challenge given. Mm-hmm. I think I I don't know. I feel like he purposely wanted people to know his identity so that he can bring all those people after him so they can challenge them. Well, now that is interesting, man. Oh, there we go. Mika all on a run. On a date. So, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? They're gonna stalk on him. Wait for it. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh my god. I'm so close. Oh my god. So close, man. It was this close to expose the stalking plan. Oh. <laughs> there we that I love that reaction. So, what are they gonna do? Follow him? Fly a drone over him or something? My god, they got drip, man. Seriously. There we go. Oh, yo! Cheese tato! Woo hoo hoo! Girl! Nice dress, man! Well, and of course, everyone's going, going to go crazy over Takina's uh, suits, too, I presume. I mean, those two looks good in suit and dress. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, seems like she's to try her best not to go back to the main headquarters so that, you know, she don't have to go through the killing again. Hmm. So, how well would this infiltration mission go? Yo, look at these two, man. Yeah, mission stato. Wasabi Noriko. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Seriously. And he fell for it, too. He actually fell for it. Uh... So, who is this partner? I'm pretty sure it's the short hair girl from the, 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 the CEO or something. Hmm. Hmm, that's smug. That's smug. Oh, no way. That's not the girl. That's a. That's the guy that's coming after them from the behind the scene. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's not how what how she thinks. So we're having some yaoi or something. We're having yaoi development for Mika or Nega. Hmm, what is it? Hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure if you see you eventually. Well wow, whatever man. Hmm? Oh yo, I can see a lot of fan arts for that butt scene right there. Mm. 
Mm hmm. Yeah, I thought you knew that. Oh, backup team to the rescue. Wait, what? He exposed himself just like that? Whoa. Oh my god. Hmm. Well, I mean, you could, you could have just done that from the very beginning. Just approach him about the issue. What is it? Her backstory or something? You gonna start talking about her past? I would love to hear more of it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, so he was the one to provide her surgery. Huh. So it seems like these two have a bit of a connection. Maybe those two go way back. Your talent is... Hmm? <laughs> this we got. <laughs> Wait, she's 20? Oh! She's, no way, she's 20, man. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, it seems like Yoshi has. Well, it seems like Yoshi and Chisato has a bit of a history that we will eventually find out more about. Something about surgery and him saving her, maybe. Mm hmm Okay, so he wants Shizato to go back to the killing business. Oh! Whoa! Yo! Whoa! Damn! Yowie! Oh, he has a gun with him. Mm hmm Ten years ago. Hmm. So they were partners before he left. And let me guess, he was the one that developed Chisato or something? He was the one that discovered Chisato? Okay, now do we got some interesting backstory right there. Mm hmm. I mean, she was, but I'm pretty sure that she's happy for many other reasons. Hmm, doesn't belong here. Wait, so you're telling me Chisato, you want her to go back to killing business rather than staying here and doing your typical vigilante stuff. Like I said, we will eventually find out, find out more about Chisato's situation. It's just that I'm just wondering how long we're going to drag this out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Condition, huh? Hey. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So they're not closing the cafe. Okay, that's good, I guess. At least that's so that's that misunderstanding resolved.
Mm-hmm. Well, I guess manga re manga drawers are like here. <laughs> Come around here to the height. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Girl, 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 girl. Damn, those breasts, man. She's trying to stand out from the crowd indeed, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, dude. She's really horny for guys, man. <laughs> Straight dog. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, what an entrance. Wow, what an entrance, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's how she gained her artistic skills. She helped out with a manga girl. <laughs> now this is wholesome, man. Mm hmm. Okay, this is a post credit scene. No wonder the last part was 24 minutes. So I do wonder what sort of, how to say, cliffhanger we're going to have for this series. And of course, the best way to end up this episode with Majima. Why am I not surprised? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the fact how he's able to balance out the phone like that too. The next one is oh, yo, they're infiltrating the main headquarters. Like holy shit! So that's what the message means. I challenge you, liquorses. Oh shit! Oh shit! Since like next episode could be a very massive episode, man. I won't be surprised if we start out the episode with him like stepping in front of the front door of the DA and start bursting in, I guess, and causing a, a, a shootout. Yeah, I feel like next episode will be an insane battle episode. I think this episode is more so a build up to it, especially revealing some secrets to Chisato's backstory. Yes, you can see the fact that she and Yoshi has a bit of a connection going on, even though Yoshi is technically the one that, well, influences Majima to do his shit, of course. So... Well, since I, she said, the one thing that he said in this episode that really had my suspicion is that free Chisato. So you, he's basically saying that they want Chisato to go back to killing business, not like the typical vigilante mission where she goes and just stop, you know, bad guys, I guess. They want her to, they want her to go back to like being like a mean girl, like we saw in the flashback with Majima. It seems like also Majima have a bit of a history with, with Chisato too. So let me just go back to the scene right here. Give me a sec. Mm -hmm. Give me a sec. Okay, we have a bit of a, let me see if we have the flashback scene something. But by the way, him like bursting to the police station is like, bro, what the hell, man? Like, seems like he's trying to like destroy all the data or collect the data. I mean, basing on the post credit scene, it's more like he's trying to like. I don't know, put a put a virus in the system or something to 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 um weaken the DA. Uh, well, we should find out more about that next episode. But yeah, it seems like he with the help the robot boy here able to outsmart the liquorses and the DA. So yeah, you can just tell he's a big threat. And here we go, the scene that I was like really suspicious about is that well, we can see this is Lolly Chisato, and we can just tell from the um, the height and the hairstyle, but also the fact that. He met her before and somehow he survived her, well, close up killing attempt. But I really, really feel like those two have a bit of a, how do you say, dark history and it seems like he's coming after her or something like, you know, coming up for some ra next round of battle. So, yeah, we will eventually find out more, we're going to be finding out more about um, what's going on between Shisato and Majima, especially the fact that Yoshi provide a bit of a hint about her surgery like did something happen in this fight scene or something did something happen to the tower maybe this takes place during the the, the tower incident that they've been mentioning throughout the series so well there's a lot of secrets in this show that we will eventually going to discover i guess 
But, but by the way, I just gotta say, man, Chisato looks amazing those dresses. I wish uh, we get to see more of this. Of course, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of fan artists out there. We get to, uh, trying to draw her out like uh, in a more sexier way with, you know, Takina in her suit. But, you know, like the, the conversation between uh, Mika and Yoshi really provide a bit of hint to more of, uh, you know, the surgery that, you know, they mentioned about Chisato. So, did the surgery by any chance make her give her a, com a completely new personality or did the surgery seal away her real personality or seal away her memories something like that or seal away like you know like you can block out this sort of side of her personality so well i guess you can say those this episode is more so a build up for next episode where we will eventually see a big a big shootout man we i won't be surprised if next episode is going to be very bloody and very intense too so I'm looking forward to it. So with that, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Smash the button and I'll see you guys then.